everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. So usually I react to music, but I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I've seen that there is a uh, family guy roast of every type of woman. And since, you know, I am one of those, I thought maybe I would check it out. So let's see what this is all about. All right, here we go. Peter, you're not still friends with that idiot after what he did. Well, I mean, that may be a little harsh. I'm not going to avoid Peter like the drunk chick at a party. I just smoked the wrong side. hasn't been easy. Between doing the laundry and vacuuming, I barely had time to put on a nice sweater and clasp a cup of tea with two hands. <laughs> <sighs> and now to tie this sweater around my waist and walk around the neighborhood. Hang on, I'll be right back, Lois. I'm just going across the street. Peter, you can't keep using Cleveland's bathroom. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yes, I can. Cleveland's bathroom is the greatest discovery since fat women discovered Diet Coke. Now I can eat anything! It's just complicated, that's all. No, Brenda, it's not complicated. Trying to get a straight answer out of a 23-year-old girl is complicated. So, do you want to go out sometime? Out, like, go out or hang out? I used out to be one. Do something. Yeah. Like a date. Like a date date or like a date? Both, but I guess. Yeah, sure, maybe. I don't know. Yes, no. <laughs> Here's the first three digits of my phone number. Email me. Boy, this is fun, eh? Except for the fact we got to sit next to that woman who came with her co-workers. Uh, aren't we all pals? I work at the office. This is empowering. Maybe I'll get a dance, huh? You guys are probably going to be talking about this forever. A woman who's so cool with all of this? Jackpot! Well, it's probably the right move anyway. Those girls seem kind of annoying. Look at them over there, taking a group picture together. I love you! I love you! We're all such good friends. You can tell by the way we're pressing our faces together. <laughs> And that's where fat girls come from. So, we were supposed to go to the library to wipe boogers in fancy books. I like to wipe mine in Bronte novels. It's like a time bomb to gross out lonely chicks. I don't know oh, what Bronte Heathcliff. is. Oh, Heathcliff. Oh, come on. I was so little. Oh, wow. <laughs> you are definitely not afraid of dessert. You know, I wish I were secure enough to throw on any old thing and call it an outfit. Come on. You have so much body confidence. I mean, who wouldn't with those strong legs? So much. Pass up compliments, man. Muscular. Hey, I like your tie. Thanks. <laughs> that's all you need, you know? Peter, why don't you just sit in that booth over there? Oh, man, that's where the after work secretaries sit. What about Mr. Jemerson? Is he single? I, I, I don't know. What about Mr. Adelaide? Is he single? I don't know who that is. Well, who do you know who is single? Uh, I'm assuming you. Oh, oh, hey, look, cake. Uh, excuse me, can I get directions to the Providence Civic Center? Do you like cake? Yes. Do you like my ass? Yes. Do you want to eat cake off my ass? What kind of cake? Angel <laughs> food cake. Well, Rusty, looks like we're going to eat our way out of another jam. I got to know if you should take 24 or 4.95. Hang on. Exit's coming up. <laughs> I'll leave me in my bag. It's not even a purse. It's an old college book bag, but I use it as a as a purse. Sometimes it takes me a minute to find stuff. Half a mile. <laughs> You'd think I could find it. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would. Okay, I'm taking 495. So. Here it is. It says take 24 to 128. <laughs> Women, we have spent decades fighting for our right to vote. So when you go to those booths and cast your ballot, remember, Warren G. Harding is way the cutest! And then we have a chocolate chocolate cake that's infused with chocolate, served with chocolate ice cream and a molten chocolate topping. We'll have one Gosh. of those with four spoons. More like four of those with one spoon for me. <laughs> Oh, can I just... All right. Try a little sample. Oh, I'm so bad. Uh, sure. You gonna buy a cookie this time? Oh, I better just stick with the sample. I'm so bad. But at least I know I'm bad, so that makes me a little less bad. Or worse. That was the right thing to do, Peter. 
Hey, Tyler, are you on your way to algebra? Yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> You're awful! But he didn't do anything. The preceding joke was brought to you by men. Men, we don't know what we did. 9-11 <laughs> changed everything, yeah. Brian. 9-11 changed everything. Peter, you didn't even know what 9-11 was until 2004. That's not true, Brian. I remember 9-11. <laughs> Must have been a woman pilot, eh? Come on, guys. We don't have to make such a big thing about it. It's not Must have been a what? A woman pilot, eh? Come on, guys. We don't have to make such a, a big thing about pilot. it. A woman pilot. It's not like I'm a woman who's about to turn 30. You guys, I don't care what we do for my birthday, as long as it lasts the whole week and it's very expensive and inconvenient for all my friends. Oh, and I'm going to dress like a slut and be rude to everyone for no reason. But, Maya... I don't care that your dad's dying. We're all going to Montreal for the week. Not like 37-year-old... Who does that? ...woman on a blind that. date fund. Oh, so what if you forgot your wallet? I'll pay. I'm going to pay for us. You'll get it next time, yeah. So you were in prison, right? Killed a man? Oh, I'm sure it was in self-defense. No, I just felt like killing. Ah! Uh, oh, you tell the best stories. Me and my three eggs are having the best time. Okay, so I know you're a harmonica, but right now you're a 40-year-old woman with a good body in a hotel pool. Hey, everybody, look at me. I work out seven days a week for these five minutes. Your attention is going to keep me from swallowing a bottle of pills. You listen to me, you son of a bitch. I've got one thing in this lifetime. One thing. <laughs> you always say I never do anything around here. Yeah, I like saying that more than I like you doing things. Dad, I got the rest from the car. Where Chris, run! You were right! She didn't appreciate it! Oh, crap! <laughs> Ow! That's right. A man definitely wrote that. It felt unappreciated when he did help the wife. Yeah. Anyway, I do on. groceries. Yeah, Mom, you get crazy when you're pregnant. <laughs> Society well, there is doomed. People and technology are a bad match, just like moms and Radiohead. Oh, no. No, no. This isn't music. No, I don't like this, David. No, that's enough. No, David, I don't like that. No. Well, it's a nice apartment you have. Is this your dog? Yes. Isn't he the cutest little cutie wootie? Look how cute he is. Yes, he's very cute. Yes, he's cute. Yes, he's cute, 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 cute. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> okay. Look at him. Look at that face. Come on. Look at that face. You don't look at him. Look at that face. Oh, we don't need a map, right? I got us a GPMS machine. Go up. What do you think? GPMS? Think. Just go up. Sorry. Okay, can everyone just stop freaking out and just give me, like, two minutes? God! <laughs> Everyone's always yelling at me. What are, all the questions! All right, well, maybe we'll turn you on later and see how you feel. Hello? Ah, oh, jeez, it's... it's a girl. May I speak to the man of the house? This is the woman of the house, and there is no man living here. No? W wait, what is... I, I, how are you paying for this phone? I'm a lawyer. Oh, I see. And are you in your little courthouse right now, representing Barbie? Hey, that was a pleasant surprise. You know, like when a woman in a Porsche Cayenne isn't a complete bitch. Huh. Well, I did not expect that. I wasn't telling you to go. I was trying to smell my own fart. Peter, you left the flap open. It's like a thousand degrees in here, Lois. Close the tent now. It's freezing. Headline, woman cold. <laughs> Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> I've heard that before. So you got <laughs> something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> so you got... You, you, uh, you wanted to see me, Mr. Weed? <laughs> Irrational and emotionally fragile by nature, female co-workers are a peculiar animal. 
they are very insecure about their appearance. Be sure to tell them how good they look every day, even if they're homely and unkempt. You're doing a great job, Muriel, and you're prettier than Mamie Van Doren. God, this place officially sucks worse than the WNBA. And at the top of the second half, it's 16 to 9. Easton leads the scoring with four. And that's why she commands $7,000 a year. These gals sure do make it look difficult. But is having this minor skill worth being so unattractive? That's for the uh, fan uh, to decide. Yay! Very well. <laughs> I've never seen WNBA. I know what it is. But I'm pretty sure those women can play better than a lot of men. I don't know. I don't know. Earth being so One unattractive, fan. that's yeah, for the fans to decide. Yay! Barry was over last night, and he... Don't tell me. He, he left, left the toilet, toilet seat up. <laughs> oh, I ran into Frank. It's funny, he fought in Vietnam, he's an exorcist, but there is one thing that terrifies him. Commitment! <laughs> oh, Midge, you're my third best friend in the whole world. Third? Who are the first two? Ben and Jerry. <laughs> Okay. Some of those are funny. Some of those not as funny. But I get it. I get their jabs and their reasoning for a lot of them. You know, I've heard a lot of those jokes or things in those directions. So most of that was not really shocking to me. Um, yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this video or reaction, whatever. If there's point, like I want to do, I'm, I'm here for the music, but I also kind of want to do something funny or just out of the norm like once a week or something, just because. Um, let me know what you think. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. That was a lot of fun. Bye.